Well, first things first, how did it feel to bounce back and get another one in the win column this past week? Oh, it felt great. You know, uh, going back to the drawing board after losing tough to a great team and trying to come back and trying to compete for the West. Uh, it was a big, big, huge win to go out there in Florida and take the W. And how do y'all make adjustments on the fly? Y'all seem to be adjusting things rather quickly. Uh, just the little things, uh, technique, um, tackling, uh, just the little things to just boost our game and boost our uh, confidence to another level to go out there and compete at a high level. What do you think you learned about defending a mobile quarterback as we face a trio of mobile QBs coming up? On um, I learned that uh, you got to, when they scramble, you got to turn the scramble drill. And uh, corners, safeties, got to lock on to guys. And the guy that's rushing the quarterback just got to contain him and get to him as fast as you can before you get out with his feet. Another team that likes to move fast and not let you, the defense get set. Mm -hmm. What did you learn about Tennessee that you think you can bring into this whole mess game? Uh, we learned about Tennessee, uh, they just like to move fast. So to get the line up, you know, get the call, and just get prepared to play for the next play. And I just feel as just doing that by itself could help us just a little with the slight edge on the defense. How do you guys improve your communication with so many cornerbacks moving in and out due to injuries and other things going on? Uh, we just try to communicate more with hand signals, uh, try to be there for each other, help each other out off the field and uh, just on the field wise, just trying to over -commun communicate those plays and try to get lined up as fast as can, as we can. Uh, you added 20 to 25 pounds of muscle and sets mm -hmm. this offseason. Yeah. Are you yeah. feeling that helped you out right now that we're midway through the season? Yeah, uh, actually, it helped me out a lot, you know, uh, physicality wise, speed wise, oh, and just adjusting know. from FCS to SEC by itself alone. So the 25 pounds actually play a big part in this season. How much does that competition get to play difference? Uh, it's 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 a big difference. I mean, you going from playing guys that's probably like 170, 180 to 225 pound receivers, so uh, that could actually run. So it's a it's a big transition. But uh, I felt that I handled the transition well and like a good young pro. So you know, it's been a fun experience. Feeling a little more sore on Sunday? Yeah, just a little. Okay. <laughs> And, you know, about that transition, how does it feel to be in an SEC stadium on the road and here even at home? Uh, it feels great. Uh, it's a dream come true. I'm trying to, uh, trying to soak in as much as I can because it's the last few games I play in college. So uh, just actually getting that dream to come true and actually to fulfill those moments as a young kid. So it just feels great and a great opportunity to play here, especially here at LSU. And talking more about that defensive communication, you know, being on the road kind of prohibits that at times. What was the mm -hmm. toughest environment so far, Auburn or Florida? Uh, from my experience, uh, I'd say Auburn. Um, the fans actually was into it the game more. But, you know, any any road game in SEC going to be hard. So, I mean, you just got to go in there and just uh, take on an opponent as much as you can and much that you learn from the opponent and just go out there and just play hard and just try to tone out the crowd noise and everything. But I say Auburn was the most, most probably hardest place to play in.